everyone, welcome to Life with me and Roxy, and today we're going to be opening this Swirl in Style Tie-Dye Studio. We got this from Target. So here it looks like you put your shirt in this little globe, and by the way, if you do want to get this from Target, it does not include a white shirt, so you will have to buy that separately. But it looks like you put your white shirt in this globe, and then you spin it, and you put your, um, your dye in here, and then... You wash it, and then you have your tie-dye shirt. Here's some examples of shirts. Here, we have a shirt. We have, what is this? A skirt. We have a little headband and some shorts. So yeah, it says twist it, swirl it, and wash it, and then you have your tie-dye shirt. So let's open this up. looks like we have like it looks like headphones but it's this right here wow. instructions okay so oh these are instructions so here's our headphones uh the this is part of the base where you put your little um your tie-dye bottles another one Here are our tie-dye bottles and our caps. Here are some gloves so you don't get your hands messy. Here's a tie-dye bottle, so basically it just goes in like that. Here is our globe, so you put your shirt in, and then you put our, your dye in, and then close it. Okay, so now, we're going to build our base. So here's our base. And it just snaps on like that. Just like that. Not to mention, here is our die that we put in our bottles. So we're building our globe before we make our shirt. So we have to screw these ye little yellow things onto our globe so that it doesn't come apart. Okay. So here we put our headphone thingies on and then we put these pink caps on. And you use this to tighten these. Okay. So then you put this onto your base. You can put it horizontally or you can put it vertically, whichever way you prefer. Um, because there's holes on each side so that you can put it on which way you want. Basically, this allows you to cover all areas of the shirt with tie-dye so you can like move it around like horizontally, vertically so that you cover all surfaces. Okay, so now we set everything up. We can choose our colors and our tie-dye design for our shirt. And this paper shows how to put your rubber bands on so you can get a certain look on your shirt. If you want to take a quick look at this, you can look at it. Here's the other side, you can take a look at this too. Okay, so this is our shirt. It is a tank top. So I've decided to do this design, the double swirl. This one right here, number four. Um, it might come out a little different than the picture because our shirt is a tank top. But the only way to see is to try it out. Real quick, we're just going to show you how to do the double swirl design. So basically you put your shirt down, you fold it, and you kind of roll the two sides together so that it looks like this. Like this. And then you put your rubber band. Okay, so here are how we positioned our rubber bands. So one rubber band going across and the other coming down. So now we're gonna put this in our globe and then put our tie-dye colors, and let's get to it. I suggest mixing up your tie-dye colors over the sink because tie-dye does stain. Okay, so the colors I'm gonna be using are blue and red. So how you tell what color it is, just by these little stickers on the packages, you can see what color. How you insert your dye into your shirt is you use this, and you stick it in one of these holes and just squirt it in. 
what, guys? Somebody's here. Who is it? It's Roxy. Say hi, Roxy. Hi, cutie. Oh. Roxy just wanted to check in and say hi to see how the tie-dye is going. Also, we put a garbage bag over our workspace so that we don't get our rug dirty. And also, we put gloves on because tie-dye really does stain. It's hard to get out. The instructions also said, do not oversaturate your shirt to get best results. Let's get started. Okay, so first, I'm going to insert the blue dye. And do not squeeze it until it's fully inserted inserted in this hole. Okay, now we're switching colors. We're going to use red. And remember, do not squeeze it until it's fully inserted in the hole. Now let's go to blue. Okay, now we're doing blue. Alrighty. We'll come back when the shirt is fully saturated. So our shirt, our shirt is fully saturated now and we need to let it sit for six to eight hours. We're going to run water over it. The water is clear. You take it out of the globe completely and then you can wash it on your hands. Alrighty. So we are finally done with our tie-dye shirt, and this is our final result. It's really pretty. So we added our blue and our red, and we have a whole bunch of different colors now. I see a little bit of blue, I see a little bit red, but as you see right here in this big spot, it's like purplish, pinkish. So I really enjoyed this. It's very nice. It's really cool. So, if you are thinking about buying this kit, I really think you should because it's so good and it works so well. And the instructions that it te like t it tells you how to make the design, that works also. So, I really like this and I really enjoyed making this. And it was a really fun activity to do. So, yeah. If you're thinking about buying this, you should definitely buy it. Um... Just remember that it's at Target, and it does not come with a white shirt, so you'll have to buy that separately. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Like and subscribe. Bye!